Hello. So in the last two sessions, we have taken a word problems on quadratic equation that is based on uh, two digit numbers. Now in this session, we are going to take another example that is based on that how to find out the speed of the train if the distance and the time relation is given. So we'll see this example. It is given that a train takes two hours less for a journey of 300 km if its speed is increased by 5 km per hour from its usual speed. Find the usual speed of the train. So in this uh, problem, we have to make the equation in terms of time. So we know that time is distance upon speed. So first we'll assume that the speed of the train, that is usual speed of the train be x km per hour. So we'll see that let, let the usual speed, let the usual speed of train of train be x kilometer per hour. So let it be x kilometer per hour. Now the total distance it has to cover, the total distance, total distance that it has to cover is 300 kilometer. Now if the distance is 300 kilometer and the speed is x uh, kilometer per hour, so the time it will take will be what? So time time taken will be what that is t1 we know that time is distance upon speed distance upon speed so distance is how much 300 divided by speed is x so the time it will take with the usual speed to cover the distance of 300 kilometer will be 300 upon x now it is given that if the speed is increased by 5 kilometer per hour so the new speed will be what new speed will be earlier it was x now the new speed will be x plus 5 it is increasing by 5 so x plus 5 kilometer per hour so this is the new speed now if the speed is increased by x plus 5 so now time taken will be what so time t2 now the new time that is t2 will be what again the distance upon speed so what is distance it has to cover the same distance that is 300 km but the speed has changed now it is x plus 5 it is x plus 5 now tell me which will take more time this or this so it will take this case will have more time because it is 300 upon x now the speed has increased by 5 km per hour if it is covering the same distance if the speed get increased so it will take less time so T1 is more and T2 is less. So how much? It is less by 2 hours. So what we'll do here is as per given condition, as per the given condition is T1 minus T2, T1 minus T2 is equals to 2 hours. So this is in hours and this is also in hours. So many students what they, they um, do mistake here is they write T2 minus T1. That is wrong. T2 minus T1 equals to 2 that is incorrect because this time is more compared to this because the speed has increased. So T1 minus T2 will be equals to 2. Now what is T1? So T1 is 300 upon x. So 300 upon x minus T2 is 300 upon x plus 5 is equals to 2. Now take 300 common from this equation so 300 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 5 is equals to 2 now do the cross multiplication here so what we will get here x plus 5 x plus 5 into 1 x plus 5 one, x into 1 that is x divide by now x into x we will do the multiplication of these two terms so x into x will be x square x into 5 that is 5x is equals to 2 now plus x minus x get cancelled here so what we will get here now 5 is remaining here so 300 into 5 it is in multiplication so 300 into 5 will be 1500 divided by x square plus 5x equals to 2 now do the cross multiplication here so it will be 1500 equals to 2 bracket x square plus 5x 5x now it will be 1500 is equals to 2x square plus 10x. 
10x. Now we will shift all these values. If we shift 1500 there, so it become minus 1500. So if we rewrite this equation, so I can write this. I'm shifting this value there. So I re rewrite the final equation. That is 2x square plus 10x. This will go that side, so it will be minus 1500 and this side will be 0, so that, that is nothing but equals to 0. So I have written directly the final equation here. Now if you see, in all these terms, 2 is common. So to simplify the equation, we will divide the whole equation by 2. So we will get here is x square plus 5x minus 750 equals to 0. So it will be x square plus uh, 5x minus 750 equals to 0. Now, now, we want two terms, two numbers whose multiplication should be minus 750 and the addition or subtraction should be plus 5. So, how to do uh, or how to find out the factors if you don't know, you can factorize that value. So, if you factorize 750, so 3 into 2, 6, 1 carry 5 and 0, then again, uh, 5 tables, 5 into 5, then 0, 5 into 1, 0, then 2 into 5, and 5 into 1. So you can do this way. So if you multiply 3 into 250, you will not, you will get 750 multiplication, but you will not get plus or minus, doing plus or minus, you will not get plus 5. Or 3 into 5, 15, 15 and 50 is also 750, plus, plus or minus, you will not get 5. 3 into 15, 15 into 5, that is 75 into 10, that is, you will get 750 plus, doing plus or minus, you will not get plus 5. So, we can make uh, the combination in between the values, like if we take 3 into 5, 15, 15 into 2, 30, and uh, three, uh, 5 into 5, 25. So, 30 and 25, yes, 30 into 25 will be 750. And if we do plus or minus, we can get 5 plus 5. So, that is the factors are 30 and 25. So, here it is plus. So, the bigger number will be in positive. So, 30 will be positive and 25 will be negative. So, 30 into minus 25 is minus 750. And 30 minus 25 will be what? 5. So, we will write that equation. Here. So, it will be x squared plus 30x minus... 25x minus 750 equals to 0. Now, what is common here? x is common, so x plus 30 minus. What is common here? 25x minus minus plus, so it will be 30 equals to 0. So now, x plus 30 equals to 0. The x plus 30 is common here, and x minus 25 equals to 0. So therefore, x plus 30 equals to 0 or x minus 25 equals to 0. So therefore, x equals to minus 30 and or here x is equals to 25. So we are getting two values, x equals to minus 30 and x equals to 25. Since the speed cannot be negative, so therefore this term will be uh, x equals to minus 30 will be discarded. Since speed cannot be in negative so therefore x equals to minus 30 is discarded so we'll discard this value so therefore the speed the original speed of that train was therefore usual speed it is our usual speed so usual speed of the train of the train is equals to 25 kilometer per hour as per the given condition or as per the given situation in this situation the speed of the train that usual speed was 25 km per hour so this is how we can solve any example based on speed time and distance so we have taken usual speed as x now here it is given that the time difference so make the equation in terms of time that is time is distance upon speed so you will get one equation and again next the speed has increased in some case it, it will be given that the uh, speed has decreased so whatever it is given if it is decreased do x minus 5 or if it is increasing so whatever the value is increasing just uh, do the addition so you will get two equation in terms of time then the time difference is given so you have to do whichever the time is greater in this case t1 is greater than t2 so t1 minus t2 will be equal to 2 then solve this by any method 
uh, you get one quadratic equation, then you can solve that by, we have already studied about completing square method, or you can solve it by formula method, or you can solve it by factorization method. So we'll take one, uh, one or two more examples on this type of questions, and we can, uh, we'll also take our two digit number, one or two examples on that also, because students are facing problems on that type of questions. So take more number of examples of this type and solve it your own. So if you are facing any problem, you can come uh, in the comment section, you can uh, give our problems and we'll solve that problems. Hope uh, it will be helpful for your mathematics uh, calculations as well as in your examinations. Thank you.